Hey guys, what is going on? The Zip of Rage Quit TV gummy casting game between the Muslim and Machine. It is a ZVT on Taldrim Altar, and both players are from Team EG. And also, this is one of my 1080p stress tests, seeing if I can actually handle the 1080p resolution. So if it lags, please let me know. And if it looks amazing, also let me know. I may be doing all future casts in 1080p. I know that would make some of you very happy. So we'll see exactly what goes on this game. The Muslim will throw down a 10 supply depot because what Terran doesn't and Machine will be going for a supply depot. Now the big question is, does Machine go for Mutalisks or Infestors? The Infestor play, you get a very fast hive, get Blurred Lords very quick and can take out any contain of the Terran players. Additionally with Infestor play, you get a lot of upgrades very quickly. And uh, the reason why is because if you go Mutalisk play, you gotta build a lot of mutalisks like the mute account never ends with infestor play you build six to nine infestors and then you're done then you can use your minerals and gas on either upgrades or tech or whatever you want so we'll see exactly what happens on uh, Taldor and Malta, I generally do see Mutalisk play from people who do play both of them. Of course, like Destiny and Stefano, they always, well not always, but they go for Infestor play quite a bit. And we have a little bit of a Mako Axe going down from the Muslim. And he is getting gas right now, so maybe Reapers? Reapers have been coming increasingly popular. You used to see them once in a blue moon, but now on like Taldrim, Alto, Shakur's Plateau, basically maps where you can bunker up and a little cliff down here. You've been seeing a Reaper play come back. The reason behind is you can build your bunkers, keep your Reapers on the low ground, they kill any drones going to attack your bunker, and uh, you get bunkers up. Once you get the bunkers up, well, Zerg can't really use spine calls to kill off the bunker because Reapers with their D8 charge kill building so quickly the spine call is dead before it even finishes morphing so this could be very tough for machine to hold off we do have a tech lab so it will be that reaper play and uh the muslim isn't gonna get a scout on i mean machine's not gonna get a scout on the muslim for some time just because well it is taller than malta a very large map but the drone is gonna be able to come here it will be down here before the reaper does come out so the uh, machine should know exactly what is going on and we'll see how he does defend this actually he may not he may think it's like a proxy rex but if he comes in here and sees the gas he should know it's not a proxy two x because two x's don't use the gas so machine does not maybe he saw an sev returning gas i hope he did and he's going to come up here see the reaper now two scvs for the muslim are going out to build those bunkers and immediately a lot of drones do go down but they are just gonna be mining and will the Muslim be able to get these bunkers up? One does start building and the other one is going to be going. The drones are going to go on these SEVs and it looks like one SEV will go down. These drones not attacking this one and uh oh, maybe not. This SEV goes in a very safe spot and now this SEV kind of does. He switches over to the other side. This is very bad for, oh no, that is not completely walled off. One SEV will be going down now. Lings are coming out. This SEV is trying to run for his life as the Reaper now out on this low ground. But with both SEVs gone, these bunkers are not going to be doing anything. The Muslim is building another Reaper. Doesn't have any more SCVs coming to finish off these bunkers. So it looks like Machine has held this off with ease. Not taking many losses whatsoever. The Reaper has two kills, but uh, I guess those may be both drone kills. But I mean, the Muslim definitely invested quite a bit in this play. Now he has two Reapers here. Will he be able to do damage? And what will Machine do? He is getting that speed research and, uh, well, the Queen is over here. Just gonna pick off these bunkers slowly. The Muslim hopping up and down, trying to do some damage. And he may actually come in and get a few drones. One drone does go down. The Reaper still gonna kite that Queen and just go back down. The Reapers can kill a Queen if they kite it for eternity. It's very hard to kite Queens, though, without that speed upgrade, which, of course, does require the factory. This overlord just sits down here so we can keep an eye on the Reapers. The Queen gun try to do more damage, but it is taking some big hits. Down to half health, but another queen does come down, and those reapers are not going to be able to kill both those queens. Another one does come, so the Muslim does have three reapers. Behind this, he is taking an expansion and uh, building a lot more barracks. And uh, while these bunkers didn't finish, they still uh, created a headache for those queens because it gave uh, the Muslim a little bit of room to move around some nice sim city from the muslim but again i just don't think it did the damage he wanted it to 24 drones to 24 scvs the expansion is now just completing but we have a lot of speedlings and those reapers do not have speed 
and he probably won't get speed, so the Reapers are not going to be that good against Speedlings. Overlord does see three Reapers on the way. The Queens are going to go in position to defend against this. Wild Machine does a Ling run by, and he may actually get quite a bit. The bunk uh, Supply Deepers are up. Get back. Or put the Supply Deepers up. He is going to take those SVs as lost. Cancel the Order Command, and... Uh, We'll have to cancel off this bunker. The Muslim does get contained to just his one base for now. A few lings did make their way in. SEVs and a single marine are going to go try to take them out. While some lings go try to take out these supply depots, the Muslim now in a little bit of trouble. And meanwhile, Machine is going to be building more and more drones. Seven drones on the way. These lings are going to get taken out as the Muslim is repairing that supply depot. And uh, the Reapers are still alive. Going over the drone kill count, uh, Machine has killed seven SCV, uh, eight SCVs. The Muslim has killed four drones. And these Reapers, if they want to, they could try to hop down here and go behind this middle line. We'll see if they end up doing that. Lings are still just causing a headache. Going to be taking out that tech lab, which will delay Stim quite a while. So the Muslim not going to be having Stim. Doesn't get that canceled, but I think you get refunded the minerals anyways if a building goes down while you are researching. A little bit silly, I know. The Muslim is preparing for a Baneling bust as he has everything here. Really expects a Baneling bust, but Machine is just droning up like a madman. The Muslim should be a little bit more active with these Reapers to see if the Baneling bust is indeed coming. And it looks like he's going to go back through this front door. He's going to see a macro hatch of Marine, uh, Machine and the two Queens. So these Reapers, why don't they go into the main ever? A little bit odd play from the Muslim. I always assumed those Reapers would hop in the main to get a scout on. Maybe they're going to go around and hop up this way. No, they're just going to go behind the middle line and get a few more drone kills. And uh, by a few, I mean quite a bit of drone kills. But again, Machine has been doing nothing but droning. Now 9 kills, or 9 drones dead. But 40 drones to 28 SCVs. Machine's still in a pretty good state. And the Muslim is thinking... This Baneling bust is just not happening. He may have noticed when he counted all these drones over here that a uh, machine had been droning up and not going up to Baneling tech. The lair is done. We have a double Evo chamber coming out from machine. So he may go into uh, Infestor type play just because, well, he's going to have a lot of gas. And as I do say that, he does indeed get a Spire. And Lings are going to be coming back, and the Muslim will be free to take his expansion. Finally, 31 SCVs, 255 drones, and now the barracks going to be walling off. Just so uh, the Muslim is safe, but Machine going to be very happy with the map control he does have. Getting another expansion here, and most likely will be taking a hatch here. That will bring him up to 5 hatches because of the 1 macro hatch, and that is so much lava. And how many queens does Machine have? Three queens out, so doing pretty good all around. While the Muslim, he is going to be stuck on his two bases versus the five base, uh, four base of Machine very shortly. Will the Muslim get an expansion? I don't know. And uh, he still just, oh no, he does have a factory way back here. Still up with being built, so he will be going into drops. The Muslim going to go for a double eBay to get upgrades on those Marines. And a little bit of supply cap right now going on for the Muslim, but two deep was just about finished. 1-1 one, one has started. That stem is just about complete. Will be done in the next minute. And there we go. Machine going to be taking his uh, next space. This hatch now just completing. And we'll see if he drones it up very quickly. He has 66 drones, so yeah, he will be able to just transfer drones and go over because you do see this base is a little bit oversaturated as well as his main. So there we go. The drone transfer is going down. How many drones is he transferring? Looks like just about a base worth of saturation. And then all these going. So that will be a complete base's worth of saturation. And the Muslim going to be taking out these rocks very shortly. It looks like he has moved his barracks and is getting a lot of reactors. So the Muslim is going to go for a heavy marine play. And it looks like Machine does know that. He sees two reactors Coming down, and uh, will he go for that Muta play? Mutalisk probably would not be the best call against mass Marines. Just because Marines do very well against Mutas, and uh, what would be great is if Machine goes into like Burr Baneling's play and just tries to keep the Muslim from moving out. And I guess the Mutas could pick off dropships, but we do see Machine not split, uh, spreading his overlords. So while he has great vision of this whole middle of the map, he has no vision in the corners where Medivacs would be moving out. He needs to get that if he wants to keep up his Muta play, or at least do Mutalisk play. 
He is getting the upgrades and Mule, so he will be doing it, but will it be effective without vision of the sides of the map? It looks like those overlords now just starting to spread out. If I was Machine, I may even think about going for that overlord speed upgrade just to get them there that much quicker. You can see the overlords now going to be moving out so you can see if drops are coming. Very nice job, so this meter play will be able to shut down drops. And if he gets Burrow Banelings as he is getting ba uh, Burrow and uh, Banelings speed, they can really keep the Muslim contained to these three bases while he goes and expands everywhere, getting all of the gas around the map, which will allow him to do just about anything. Zerg is very dependent on that gas. Vladimir is going to be coming in here to take out this one missile turret. Mike and the one engine muted back gets away with one HP. Very nice job from Machine right there. And now taking out the tech lab. This will slow down any type of tank play that the Muslim wants to do. Going to be forced to stay on just Marines for some time. You can see he really wanted that tech lab as he is getting it yet again. Putting some more missile turrets to defend that. And uh, that is what the Mutalist play is very good for. Is just uh, getting the map control. Machine should be taking more bases I think. He shouldn't be happy with just four base when he has this much map control. It's 156 supply to 111. And a drop is coming out for the Muslim, and this is what he needs to do. Going on the edge of the map, and will Machine see this? It will be very close. And... Uh, no, the Overlord doesn't... Oh, wait! Spot it for a split nanosecond right there. Will uh, the Muta see it? Looks like, yes, they don't. They do not see that one bit as they're going near the Overlord. Not to head off this dropship. The dropship will be able to. Well, he'll get spotted by this Overlord. But the Muta's way out of position now. And uh, Banelings going out. Scattered across the map. I can only assume he will be burrowing all of the Banelings. And the meters are going to be coming. It doesn't look like Machine even saw the dropship when it passed this one overlord as he is not reacting to it one bit. He does have two spine crawlers. And uh, the dropship going to unload anyways. You can tell that was just a uh, queued up command. The Muslim realizing the error of his ways at the same time. He has another dropship going off down here. So these Marines are going to pick off quite a few drones as two meters can't really do too much just alone. And at the same time, this drop is going to be going over to this one base way over here. The Muslim does see the expansion, but knows the hatch isn't done. So he's not going to worry about it too much. We do have 2-2 two, two on the way for those Marines. While the Lings are at 1-1 one, one right now with 2-2 two, two now just completing. But here we go. The drop is going to come out. More drones are going to go down. 15 drone kills thus far. He was at 9 before the drop play happened. One queen. Oh my gosh. He gets away with 2 HP. And now those Marines are going to be trying to take off a spine crawler. And uh, that does help. We'll make his drop play more effective in the future. Now going to get a lot more drone kills. And by a bot lot, I mean just three. He was turning down to the extractor because Machine needs all of the gas. Machine stacking around 3k minerals, 1.5k gas. Has another hatch now just finished. Of course, the Muslim does know about that. The Muslim, though, very happy on his three bases. It looks like switching up into more of a mech play. He does have a throw out and some tanks. What does the Muslim see of this main base? Has he come in at all? No, the Muslim still hasn't seen anything. Doesn't know about the hive morphing in. And Machine not getting that pathogen glands upgrade for the infestors. Just going to go straight into that hive tech. And uh, Broodlords really need infestors to be effective, I think so. Skipping out on that pathogen glands may not be the smartest thing. He will be getting it. Broodlords still got a way to come out. So uh, hopefully he doesn't forget about that. And uh, oh, oh! Wow, that scan has a huge radius. The scan over here actually was enough to see those banelings. It may have just saved the Muslim. The Muslim does have a drop down here. Machine pulling off his one drone. Does lose another one down to 19 kills. And it looks like the Muslim has to be very weary. Oh my god, so close to those banelings. And they don't seem to be going up. Those Marines just on the edge. Not too many go over top of those. Oh man, if those Banelings were just moved right here, that would have been massive amounts of damage. Banelings coming in, take out these Marines. You can go straight for them. The tanks don't go in siege mode. The Thor is going to be enough to clean up the meters. The Muslim takes the supply lead right now. And these Marines going to go to work on this one hatch. Now going to take out the drones here, but the hatch may have been the better call. He could easily just target that down, but at the same time, the Muslim going to be moving on out. And uh, we still have some bird Banelings right there, but the Marines going to be dodging that just barely. And it looks like the drop is going to go off on this high ground. The Muta is going to engage on this, and that is not a smart thing. Those Marines are 2-2 with two medevacs. The Muta looks to at 1-0 right now. All those Mutas do go down, and that will allow Machine to now take out, I mean, the Muslim to take out this one base. Or will it as Lings do come? 
but now the Muslim should have free lane of the base at the 12 o'clock expansion. The tanks still don't go in siege mode. Could have got a few lane kills right there if he chose to do so. And uh, the Marines on the high ground taking out that one gas just being as annoying as possible. While the Muslim is going to siege up on this one watchtower. And uh, the tank is going to work on the spine crawler. Chance fuse does go down, tries to keep that alive. At the same time, it looks like the uh, machine will be going on for a counterattack. Bailing's going off, but not close enough to this Marines. Keep in mind that 2 2 is done. He is going for a 3 3. The uh, machine is going to pick off some of the uh, reinforcements while now going in to attack this PF. And Planetary Fortress are totaling Terran's best plan when it comes to base raises. And those links now going to be taking out the tanks and these Marines in the back. Bailing's are coming in. And the SCDs are repairing that PF. The PF up to 20 kills. And now Bainley's going to come out to take out all the SCVs at the same time. That base is under attack and the Muslim is moving. Those SCVs do go down. Now it's 25 SCVs killed. And this PF will be falling. At the same time, Machine is taking out a lot of the production of the Muslim. But the Muslim is just going to be moving in. Mutalisks are attacking these dropships. The uh, investors don't want to waste their energy. Did he ever end up getting that upgrade? Machine is going to be dropping in. Uh, there we go. Machine is going to be going to take out... That and uh, at the same time, the Muslim is going to be moving in. Needs to get in siege mode. There we go. He is in siege mode. This natural is most likely going to be falling. Will these drones evacuate or will they go down with the ship? It looks like they chose to go down with the ship. And uh, we do have Broodlords now out for Machine. And he will be able to clean up this attack. We have 3 3 just about done on the Lings as well as the Bio. And here we go. Machine is running in here. Marines do get a good split, but a great fall growth goes off. Those Marines can't split away. And there we go. Machine does clean that up. He has taken out this uh, PF and uh, does not have passenger glance, so it does look like he indeed forgot all about that. Brutalwood's going to be moving out, but now the Muslim does know about them, is getting some Vikings, but will he be able to have enough Vikings in time? And uh, the anti-air right now doesn't look too good for uh, Machine. He has a few Infestors, but we can see none. Uh, I guess one has good energy. Three have 50, one has 130. At the same time, Machine is taking the base way down here. And still has Banelings just bird throughout the map. Two down there, two over here, two there. So Machine very uh, good about using those bird Banelings. We'll see if he actually comes to activate them. And Ling's now coming in to aid these Boodlers, but the Boodlers going in all alone. This could be a huge mistake. He does have a few Infestors, but I don't think he really has enough Fung Growths to count as anti air With only four Infestors, you really need like six to nine Infestors, I said in the early game, to deal with uh, Vikings for just Infestor for anti air in general. These two Vikings are going to be able enough to clean up all these Boodlers, it looks like. Few Infested Hands come out, and Fung Growth on the Vikings. Now Lings are going to be coming in, but these Marines going to be coming in very close. One Fung Growth goes off, those Infested still have enough energy. Now, no more Fungal Growths, and it looks like the Muslim will be able to hold on. Just barely possibly, Infested is going to burrow and get away, because, well, he doesn't have any more. More Lings, uh, Banelings do burrow. Banelings coming in, but those Marines get a nice split. And all of the Brute Lords have fallen. It doesn't look like one Viking did go down in that. Again, Machine just forgetting all about anti-air. These four Corruptors would have done wonders in that one fight. And, uh, before I said yes, oh wait, we have a drop going down here. It doesn't look like it will do damage. But four Infestors can serve enough to kill the uh, Vikings. But once they kill the Vikings, they don't have energy to fungal growth Marines. So that's why I said six to nine, four for Vikings, four for Bio. And that will make your Brood Lords very strong and able to siege up. And oh, just nearly missing that one Bailing Landmine. Machine is going to hold on to this base. And oh my god, going next to another one. But he just, wait, no. Oh, so close to that one. You can see Machine was targeting it there. Just barely missed it. The Marines didn't really go over top. So maybe he didn't want to uh, ruin the fun just yet. Because as soon as a good Bailing Landmine does go off, the Muslim will be anal about scanning for those Bailing Landmines. Two Infestors here, they do have energy, two Fungal Growth, and uh, gets one off, but both Infestors do go down, Bailey's going in, but the Medivac does pick up one more Infestor back here, doesn't have any energy to do anything except Infested Terrans, and it looks like this base, I don't know if it just went down, that base is down, no it didn't just go down, I didn't miss anything so far, Marines are coming, stems up, and this one hatch is in a lot of trouble, Brood Lords do get cancelled as Marines do go underneath them, and Drones do burrow, 
Scan goes down, so his Marines will take out all of the drones. Down to 62 drones to the 28 SEVs the Muslim has. The Muslim not really mining. Going over this income, we do see uh, machine mining gas. The Muslim not. It's a little bit odd. The Muslim just building Marines right now. And that may be enough for him. He is at 3-3 upgrades, which is definitely scary, but we do have Machine at 3-3 as well. Did he remember Adrenal Glands? Yes, he did. Now he is getting that Patrick Glands upgrade a little bit late, but better late than never. And, oh, uh, Marine's just going out just to view any hidden bases. This one link is enough to take out the Marine, I think. Yeah, it is. And Ultras are now out because Machine has just given up air control, realized it didn't work, so he is going to go with that Ultraless Grout. And it can be good if he does get fungal growth on the ultras do get up close and personal lifting up in the dropship and gets fungal growth. Plenty of infestors now and uh, those dropships will be going down another fungal growth and he is going to let loose some marines but uh, yeah dropship does go down. Machine not getting any of the uh, missile attack upgrades so those infested hands will be at 0-3. Uh, we do have a drop here for the Muslim. Looks like he wants to go in and will be going in. Do quite a bit of damage. Queen does go down, now Jones doesn't have the rally on that hatch, and there is a spine caller. But, uh, will it be enough? And once this base goes down, Machine won't really be mining too much either. Infestor is coming, the Muslim has a decent spread on his Marines, but still not enough to avoid one fungal growth. And over here we just have Infestors and Ultras. And, uh, well, the Infestor cannot kill these Marines off. Marines gonna get another stim, the Jones gonna go after it, but the hatch will be falling. Machine not bringing any other units to go and uh, defend this. The drone count, 46 drones to 28 SEVs. We do have Machine with plenty of Vikings to kill off the Overlords, but uh, with the Muslim with plenty of Vikings to kill off the Overlords. Why do I keep calling him Machine? Hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much. Going to land the Vikings now to kill that one Ling off. At the same time, the drop is going to be moving around, trying to pick off another base. If he gets this base, this will be absolutely huge as the third base Almost mined out, and that's pretty much the only base uh, machine is mining out. Going over this income tab, we do have uh, the Muslim with more minerals by about 100, machine with more gas by about 448, just because, well, the Muslim doesn't care too much about gas, just loves these Marines. And if this hatch goes down, I mean, that is going to be trouble. We do have this one now rebuilt with the Ultralisk protecting it. And, oh my god, that is a lot of Ultras. 11 Ultras now out with uh, Marine tanks coming out and... Is he really building tanks with... Actually, Machine is the one without any gas. And uh, the Muslim is the one with gas. That is... Not true. I mixed that up again. Just ignore the past 10 seconds, and we'll go back in. This base does go down. And, uh... How is he building tanks without really mining any gas? I guess he just had a really big bank. And gas to still be building tanks out. The Muslim has six tanks, and this is a plenty of tanks to deal with links. But uh, Ultralisk, we'll see if that is enough. And oh, so close to those main links. But uh, one link for uh, Machine does pull them away. The Muslim could have been in a seriously would have hurt if that one link did not pull those Marines away. Infestors want to go in and try to bait them on top of these main links, I would assume so. You infested Tans are coming out. And, um, the Muslim is just trapped around a bunch of Banelings right now. Banelings at all sides of him burrowed in. And this one command center just cannot land. And now the Muslim just about mined out. Going over the army size, 125 supply for the Muslim, 112 for machine. The next player who does critical damage will most likely win this game. Neither player really mining too much. Machine trying to get this one base back up. Burrowed Infestor going to shoot off a lot of Infested Tans. That will allow the Ultras to run in as the tanks will start tugging that. There we go. Not enough Infested Tans, though, as his Marines now starting to spread out. Big Fung Growth going off on all of those Marines. Those Ultralists going down very quickly. And uh, looks like it may be an even trade. These tanks on the high ground proving their worth. And that was not an even trade one bit. Tanks, pretty good against Ultras, it comes out. And I think it may have come down to micro. We'll probably go back into that if I remember 33 minutes and how those ultras were just moved and those banelings just missing another explode. Plenty of links out for machine. But uh, I don't think it is enough. The Muslim just has too much with this one hatch going down. 
I can't really see the game going on too much longer. Well, Machine does have another hatch already up. But the Muslim looks like he has in a commanding lead going over the army size. The Muslim at 92, Machine at 69, about to drop to 63. Production Machine building drones. He is at 45 drones, but only mining off of one base. I don't know why he's building drones. Look at all of them stacked up right there. That is what he's missing. He doesn't know exactly how many drones he does have. Does not need to build more. That would be much better off on actual units. It looks like I missed a little bit of a ling run by down here at this one base. But Demosum does come and uh, cleans that up. 111 supply, 2101 supply, but Demosum only has 12 SCVs to the 48 drones. So Demosum's army is much, much bigger. 98 supply, 252. But it's only going to take one Bow Baneling, or two actually, to uh, kill off a lot of Marines, and that will allow Machine to come back in. So maybe he is still in this. But it is going to be a little bit luck. The Muslim has to walk over top of a Bow Baneling with just about everything. Now the Muslim's starting to split up his Marines and uh, picking off. No, he is not going to get an Infester out. And Tank's going to be uh, gearing up to move back in. And oh my god! Quite a few Marines do die by that one bird baneling, but not really enough. Going back into production, not too much going on. Thankfully, have the units tab up. If you want to go back and see how many Marines did just die, but the Muslim still has 47 Marines out. While Machine getting some Ultras and more Lings. And uh, again, the Army tab speaks a lot. 20 supply lead for the Muslim in terms of the Army. And with this tank spread, I don't think Machine can really engage it one bit. Marines coming to kill the drones. 80, oh my god, over 170 workers dead. Could possibly hit 200 before this game is over. And those Marines doing a lot of damage to all of those drones. Fungos do, do go down and, uh, well, it's all going to come down to this engagement right here. Big engagement going on. There's archers trying to go up, but a lot of them getting caught. This one archer in the back not doing really anything. These tanks way in the back, getting so many hits. You can see that the target fighting going on by the Muslim to target down those ultras very quickly. And it looks like Machine just barely doesn't have enough. Very well played by the Muslim. Now landing the Vikings. And uh, Machine not mining anymore as this one hatch will be falling. There's nothing he can do to really save that one hatch. He does have Infestors, but they don't have energy. And uh, now the Muslim going in for the final blow. The tanks shouldn't go in siege mode just because they have higher DPS out of siege mode against single targets. But now he is, just in case lings do come, I guess. And with this hatch will be the GG as Machine will not be able to get any more minerals. That definitely sucks for him as he did have a lead in the early game, I think. But uh, the Muslim just playing so freaking well. And there goes the hatch. What is Machine planning on doing? Maybe he's going to hope that the Muslim not mining with these infestors and uh, try to be so cost effective with them. 57 supply, 260 supply. And here we go, the last hurrah from, oh my god, Ultra is getting caught out of position. Oh, that cannot be good. Taking some big damage on them. While Jones now going in for the fight. And here we go, coming in. There's one Baneling out, so he has unburdened the Banelings to try to aid this, but not going to be enough. These tanks now going to be killing all of the Ultras. 53 supply, 55 supply actually, 234. But Machine, he is just holding on. There we go, the GG. I know I said we'll go back to 33 minutes, and then I will be opening up uh, SC2 Gears, because I really want to look at Machine's uh, income. It's the same, I can't see how much he's harvesting, but uh, we'll get over that. Here we go, just about into this battle. And uh, here we go. So we'll just keep an eye on these ultras. Let's go down to slower. And they're not spread up right now, now just kind of going in. We got ultras in back doing nothing. And this high ground's really going to be what kills him. But now the ultras trying to come in and... Well, not too big. I think if he split up his ultras, that would have done much more damage. 
So, didn't really make too many mistakes there. I think these two tanks gave a lot of trouble, and then these Marines that split off to the right. I mean, how many Marines did those two Altalisk chase? That is the question. So now two Ultras going way off the reserve right now just to clean up two Marines in that battle. Trying to come back in, but the tanks on the high ground just doing so much. And that will be the game. So I'm going to be opening up uh, SC2 Gears. And while I'm doing this, think about what you want to comment. Tell me about the quality. Did the game lag? That is what I really do want to know. And how do you like the using just the Blizzard title bar? I haven't done that lately, but I figured, hey, it's worth a shot. It does look pretty. And uh, hopefully this is this. Thank God we're in here. And uh, the replay...